it from SBS and we noticed that your shoelace is undone. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> it doesn't matter, but we just thought we'd have a chat to you anyway. Yeah? Yeah. You're um, comfortable like that. Yeah. <laughs> My name's Andrew, what's yours? Andrew. Uh, yeah. <laughs> meet a lot of Andrews around. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing today? Uh, we're shopping around. Uh, Anything special? Yeah, my wife's in there. Buy some shoes? Yeah, she's buying shoes. Where are you from? Mildura. Just in town for the day or? Yeah, just in Adelaide for the day, yeah. What do you do in Mildura? Uh, we grow a vineyard. We? Yeah, that's my father-in-law up there. Oh, he's disappeared. Camera <laughs> shot. <laughs> camera you, shot, yeah. You, do, you, you, you run a vineyard, did you say? Yeah, he owns it, we run it, yeah. Yeah? Just yeah. that or wine making as well? You just grow the grapes? No, we just grow it, yeah. What kind of grapes? Uh, we grow table grapes and wine grapes. Did you get into this by accident or did you mean to? Yourself? Uh, myself. <laughs> when I met his daughter, well, uh, I fell into it sort of thing. I see. How long have you known? What's her name? Faye. Faye. How long yep. have you known Faye? Oh, geez, five years now. All right. And that's how you got into the vineyard business? <laughs> yeah, more or less, yeah. <laughs> what were you doing at the time? Uh, what was I doing at the time? When you met Faye? I was labouring. Yeah. Just labour, yeah. yeah. And what's your background? You, or, were you born in Mildura? No, born in New Zealand. Were you? Yeah. Whereabouts? Auckland. And came over when? Came over a long time ago. Like, with ten your Ten years ago. Yeah, ten years ago now. No, by myself. Just to get away from New Zealand or adventure? Have a look around, yeah. Have a look. Is Faye buying shoes for herself, do you think? She sure is. I think she's disappeared. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, right into it there, shopping for her shoes there. Huh? Well, I think you better rescue Faye. I think she's yeah, I think by so, the shop. Yeah. You were looking for your shoes, and did yeah. you find some? No, not yet. Ah. Yeah, I want really high platform ones. <laughs> high platform ones? Yeah. With, mm. with a, like that? Yeah, like these ones, yeah. but higher. Higher? Yeah, higher. Uh, <laughs> is that to make you taller or are you just like high heels? Yeah, because yeah? I'm short, yeah. Mm -hmm. have to keep up with Andrew. With there. Andrew, yeah. Mm. Uh, you're from Mildura? From Mildura, yes. Tell me how you met Andrew. Well, he was working on my father's fruit block and I saw him on the trailer and he had no shirt on. <laughs> and I thought, wow. <laughs> that was That's it? my man. Mm. Yeah? That what, was seven years ago. What did you do about it? Well, I just said, how about it? <laughs> to him? Yeah, to him. No, that... we just, I don't know, how did we go about it? I've forgotten now. <laughs> You've forgotten? Yeah. Uh, it well, happened. It happened. But what was Andrew's reaction when you, do you remember? Uh... You didn't have to chase him? No. No. <laughs> 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 no, not really. And in seven years you've got to know him pretty well? Yes, yeah? I have, yeah. What can you tell us about him? He's very placid. He's oh. a beautiful man. Easy going? Easy going, yeah. And, uh... Romantic? He's very romantic, yes. Is he shy to other people? He's shy, yeah. He's very shy. Was he shy when he met you? Uh, you? No. No. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> No, and, not really. And in the seven years that you've been together, mm -hmm. um, has it been plain sailing all seven years? Has it been? Plain sailing. Uh, most of the time, yeah, most of the time. Everyone has their arguments and their ups and downs, mm -hmm. but you've just got to stick to it. Yes. And then uh, it should all work, <laughs> all out. In, yeah, work out. Before you met Andrew, did you have uh, a boyfriend? I was married. You were when married. I met Andrew, yeah, and I left my husband, <laughs> but there was problems there as well, there, yeah. and uh, yeah. so Andrew, Andrew was just easy, no, no, Andrew wasn't the cause of it. So you, you left your husband, and you told him why? My husband, yeah. why? Yeah, well, my husband knew why, yeah, yeah like we were having problems, he yeah. was very possessive, and from an Italian background, like myself. Mm -hmm. And I'm the type of person that has to do what I want to do. Are you possessive of Andrew? Be... No, no, no. We're not really possessive, no. Andrew allows me to do whatever and I allow him to do. Because I do um, modelling for the People magazine and and I have to go to Sydney and stuff like that and Andrew's fine with mm -hmm. it. We better get moving because your dad's mm. down there. I think he yeah, wants I to get moving too. Shoes. All right. All right, nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Thank you.
having lunch? Just finished lunch, yes. What was lunch? McDonald's, health food. Uh, is that that's is that what you have every day? No. Um, depends, you see. <laughs> <laughs> I try and eat healthy, but you know how it yeah. goes, you know. Um, you try and you try and then you fail. What about going out for meals? Do you like doing that? I enjoy going out for meals for the social side of it, yes. Right. Do yeah. you do that much? No. <laughs> uh, that's a, the ironic thing, I suppose. Um, considered himself to be a little bit of a hermit, but yeah, um, yeah it's sort of been that way all along. Yeah. Um, what? I've had many friends that have, uh, like, have many friends. I mean, have many friends that I see from time to time, but then you know, I've never had really close friends that I've been with all the time. Do you have so. any special friends? No, no, no girlfriend, nothing like that. So I'm looking. So <laughs> you're you're a hermit and you're looking. <laughs> yes, yes. So uh, what do you do as a hermit? What do I do as a hermit? Um, I'm a children's entertainer, actually. Yeah. I do magic shows, yeah. uh, balloon sculpture, uh, juggling, unicycling. Um, I've got my finger in so many pies, I really don't know where I'm at at the moment. But um, what what attracted you to that? Was it a conscious decision that you're going to entertain children? Um, well, ever since I was a little boy, um, I mean, my mother can confirm this, but I've always wanted to be a clown. Just uh -huh. always wanted to be a clown. And, um, you know, at four years of age, they would say, what do you want to be when you grow up? Other kids wanted to be firemen, other kids wanted to be policemen. I wanted to be a clown. Is it mostly children's parties, birthday parties that you work? Yeah, mostly children's parties. I, I find I don't, I don't very, very well get on with adults. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very much mindset towards older people and younger people, and I can entertain them very easily. But when I get to people my own age, and adults in general, I suppose, I find it very, very difficult and I get very nervous. Yeah? Um, so is that only in work or is that in, in everyday um, life as well? Well, that comes back to everyday yeah. life too. I yeah. mean, I, I, don't know, I don't know why that is. And I mean, I'd, li I'd like to know, uh, but I suppose that's the, that's the big question. Um, you know, that's why I'm, I suppose I'm put here to do, to do what I do and, then, and, and find out the answer. Are you living at home with your parents? I am living at home, yes. And uh, I'm very thankful for that too, because, yeah. <laughs> because I'm saving a little bit of money. I'm trying yeah. to save a bit of money at the moment, sort of. I would like to move away from home, but um, as I say, cash flow problem. But you, you get on with your parents okay? Yeah, I do, I do get on with my parents okay. I mean, um, I mean, I get along a lot better with my mother than I do with my father. It's not that um, my father and I don't get along, it's just that, I don't know, my mother and I seem to have an understanding um, better than my father. Like, I mean, I can s sit down quite comfortably, say anything to my mother, but when I sit down with my father, I'm finding it better now once I, I'm, I'm sort of, once again, comes back to the emotion thing. Yeah. Um, I'm fine now, I used to sit next to my father and I think I was so scared of what I was going to say next. Oh, what should I say? Oh no, I shouldn't say that. He'll think I'm an idiot, you know. If, because of what he, what you thought he might think? Yeah, that's right, that's right. I mean, I've always, I suppose, initially what I've always felt that, um, I mean, I had a lot of trouble throughout my life being involved in art. I mean, everyone classes you as gay. Um, I mean, it, that, that's that's standard. You get that all over the place. You know, if you're an artist, well, you must be gay. And then they find out later on, they think, oh, well, you're not so bad after all. Even if you are gay, you're not so bad. But, um, you know, and I think I was worried that my father thought that of me. Um, that put doubt in myself, too. I didn't know what I was. And that's why I've, I think I've had so much trouble over the years as far as being a hermit. But now I'm getting better. I can actually speak to my father. You know, we can have a, have a conversation. There's still a little bit of um, Could you ever say discomfort. to him, did, could you ask him? Did you ever think I was gay? Mm. Would you? Could you go that far now? I don't. At, at this stage, I, I don't think I could. Um, I think the only time I would be able to say that would be in a heated argument. We don't have heated arguments. Um, I say, as I say, I, I say very little to my father. Um, but when I say something, you know, we, it's it's like another step forward. Um, there's been once or twice where I've told him to, where to get off. He's told me where to get off. But once again, it's really strange. Those moments have brought us closer, if mm -hmm. anything. Um, it, it's really strange. I think one it happened about 12 months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I forget exactly what it was we were doing, but um, he was. It was almost like he was being really father, uh, you know, really um, possessive, and you know, he was the father and uh, being real dominant. And I sort of forgot. I thought for a minute. Well, hey, I mean, I'm I'm as big. I'm probably as strong. And I just said, well, you know. Nick off, and not in those words, but... What uh, did you say? Well, I, I said, fuck off, <laughs> <laughs> to put it bluntly. <clears throat> and um, that sort of, to him, he sort of took a step back and he thought, oh, gee, he might, he is older, you know, he's, um, might not be, might not have been so mature, but he sort of, he just took a, took a step backwards and saw me in a different light, I think. 
And now, I, I mean, I know he knows that I'm not gay, mm. uh, which, which is great now because I don't have that sort of uncomfortable mm -hmm. feeling with him. And I think that's what helps with us. Um, and I can sort of sit down. There's still a few things that, you know, we sort of can't sit down and have a talk about the football because I don't follow football. And, you know, he's very much the man's man. Mm -hmm. I've been a butcher for 35 years um, and, you know, it's, it's, as I say, very much the man's man's where I'm more, more balanced, I suppose, with my, with my feminine side um, and I think his generation are scared of that too. And tell me, you were saying before that you were looking for a suitable partner, a suitable yes. lady. Yes. What, what would be a suitable girl, oh, a girl of your dreams? The girl of my dreams. Um, well, look, I'd, I'd be a liar if I said um, I, I wish she wasn't good and looking because I mean, everyone wants someone good looking, let's yeah. face it. We all have um, different, uh, di different, different definitions of it. Um, look, I, it's really hard for me to put my finger on it because I don't, I don't actually have know. Have you had I mean, a relationship? No, I haven't. And I mean, I'm not, I'm, not quite, I'm not ashamed to say, I mean, I'm 20 years old and I'm still a virgin, which, I mean, it's not, it's, it's by choice. I mean, it's not as, I, I could go out and I could get myself laid if I wanted to, but it's, it's, that's not the way I want to do it. I yeah. want to, um, I mean, it's not that I haven't had relationships. I've had relationships, um, but they, they've been long ago. I mean, when I was, I think the last one was when I was about 13, and that was like, uh, sort of really, I was, I was in love with this girl, and then mm -hmm. ever since, once that broke off, I sort of tended to, that's when I started to become a hermit, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, now I'm sort of starting to go out, mm -hmm. I'm looking at things in a different light, and I'm able to sort of, you know, uh, balance up my emotions a little better. I take it from all that you've said that you're a romantic, or would yeah, be a romantic? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like to think myself yeah. as romantic, yes, yeah. yes. And if you met a lady of your dreams, you'd be a romantic lover? Yes, I would like to think so, yeah. Candlelight dinners and flowers? And Yes, yes. Well, I don't know about the candlelight dinners because I'm not much of a very picky eater, you see. I never eat my veggies, so I might, I might want to skip the meal and just go straight to the romantic part, you just see. Just set up the table. Set up the table and let's go, yeah. <laughs>
I you... called, contacted Marion. So you took her number? Got the yeah. numbers okay. and contacted Marion and uh, things progressed from there. What were the oh. things that appealed to you about Marion when you met? Why did you take her number? Her smile <laughs> and I think it was her outrageous laugh. Oh, uh-huh. And yeah. what did that tell you? That this, this girl is Very fun. funny, outgoing person. Right. Mm -hmm. What about in reverse? What was it that... I don't know. I think I just... Still doesn't know. I just fell in love, I think, and that was it. Yeah? Yeah. The whole package. You yeah. want the whole package? <laughs> I think so. Did you know anything about him before you felt these feelings? Not really. No, that I think was it's it. just one of those things. Mm -hmm. Had just you a, a, a previous relationship? I've had I had a few, but not like Zero. nothing that I fully yeah. really wanted myself. Mm -hmm. So now, what about Luke? Did Luke come along by accident, or was he planned, or how uh, did you? No, he was an accident, Luke, but uh, the greatest accident anyone could have. Mm -hmm. and, um, <laughs> when you oh, found out about it, what were your thoughts? What were your options? Uh, I didn't have an option. There was no option. Me. Yeah. That no, was just it. I feel the same way. <laughs> See, I've come from a broken family, which I'd never want to put my son in that sort of predicament. Um, we get on very well, so that that makes it all worthwhile. Right. So it's uh, it's a little nest egg. Did you talk about whether you should get married at that point? Uh, well, we'd sort of been together for a while, yeah. and uh, I've been in long relationships before, but. This was it for me, um, as a person goes. Uh, so really, it was just a matter of once to make a decision. We, uh... When the time's right, mm -hmm. you know. To me, I mean, it's it's a we have made a commitment to each other anyway. Yeah. You know, it's only a piece of paper, really. And how old is Luke now? Twelve months. You were saying that you come from a broken home. Yeah. Do you have brothers and sisters, or I have one brother. Right. Yeah. He's he's 18 months older than me. Yeah. yeah that's Adam. And how old were you? Adam. Uh, How old were you both when your parents split? Uh, my mother died when I was eight in a car accident. Uh -huh. um, Before you were eight, your, your, your the, parents had separated and you yeah. were with which parent? Uh, I was with my father, both of us with, with the father. Right. Uh, we saw our mother on the weekends. How uh, long before she died did that happen? Uh, well, when I was six, I was put into hospital. I had a hip disease. Uh -huh. And so through, whilst I was in hospital going through all that, they split and... Um, She'd met somebody else and uh, then just things progressed from then. After I came out of hospital, I was with my father and... OK, well, that's what happened on the surface, but obviously it was affecting you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. as I've explained to Marion over the years, it probably didn't really affect me till I was 21, 22, just starting to think about things and deal with things. And, yeah. But uh, you, you have to let go of a lot of things At like that. At the time, that. you took it as a matter of course, that's what happened. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And... Um, Except, of course, your mother's death would have been pretty traumatic. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, that was the thing when you later on in life it starts to hit you a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's why our relationship's so strong because of what he's brought us a lot mm -hmm. closer together through what I haven't had. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Not nothing wrong. My father's done everything for us, which is yeah. you know, anyone could possibly ask for. So I give yeah. him, love him dearly. So yeah. And, and he's. Uh, He's obviously proud grandpa and Oh, he? yeah, 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 sure is, yep, yep. Did you ever discuss anything about how you're going to bring children up? Did oh, yeah, 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 plenty of times before even having Luke. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, just thought of... And did you agree? On some things. Yeah. Well, you know, you just got to go along with life and yeah. see what it deals to you, what yeah. it deals out to you and... What are, the, what, what, like. what are the most important things? Family about values. It. Uh, just your family, to me. So you know. he comes first. Yeah, yeah definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. Yep. And you agree with that? Yes. Excuse we cruising looking for a conversation. Yeah. I just wondered if you talked to us. You looked as though you might be a local. Yeah, I'm a local. Army Dale yeah. chap. Mm -hmm. um, what are you eating? <laughs> it's a matter Chewing of gum. Chewing gum. Uh, what flavour? Peppermint. Mm. Is it good? I don't usually chew it. I found it in the boot of the car when I was cleaning out the car. So I thought, oh, well. I presume I might as well eat it rather than throwing it away. fresh. You didn't find it stuck on the... You know, it was wrapped up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you cleaning the car for a particular occasion? No, I was looking for something, actually. Not chewing gum? No. Nah, mm. Looking for something find, else. Did you find it? No. Nah. You can't see what it was? It's a adapter for a trailer. But Different cars have different plaques. You know? yeah, yeah. This is an adapter. Right. Don't know where it is. You don't know where it is. Have you found the trailer? 
Yeah, I know. The the <laughs> you just can't hook it up. Yeah, can't hook it up. Well, I can hook it up, but the lights wouldn't work, and that's illegal. Oh, right. Yeah. Are you driver. going somewhere? No, no. My, my son wanted me to transport his motorbike mm -hmm. on a trailer. But How old is your son? 13. So he's got a motorbike, or is it? Yeah, a motorbike. It's just a paddock basher, because we live on a, on a farm. Yeah. Animals? Horses. Three, yeah. Three horses. Yeah. So there's your wife? Yes. No, just my son and myself. No I'm wife? A single dad, yeah. Separated. Separated. Yeah. And you kept the you kept the boy? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah by yes, agreement? Definitely. Originally by agreement. We got into a bit of strife over the years and had to sort it out in the court. But originally by agreement. Yeah. And that was, was that sorted out without involving him too much? He did get, he had to go for a psychological assessment. Did he? Yeah, he did get it embroiled in it. So what, he had to be... What was As the purpose a, a of court, that? A court appointed a psychologist to try and determine what he thought his uh, yeah. best interests were, yes. where he wanted to be. Yeah. Right. Was, that was a pretty unpleasant yeah, it was pretty time. rough, yeah. Was he confused? Because, I mean, presumably he loves his mum and all that. Yeah. Um, what he was telling me and what he was telling his mother and what he was telling the, the court psychologists were sort of three different things. I think in the end he was just trying to please everybody. Yes. Well, that's fairly children, standard. Children try to do. Yeah. yeah. And so how did you work out what was the right result? In the end, um, we settled out of court. But, um, his mother had a change of heart and brought him, left him with me. Mm. Um, again, I'm not quite sure what triggered that, but mm -hmm. she had a change of heart in the end. Yeah. And, that, mm. and, and presumably your son, what's his son's name? Nathan. Nathan? Nathan, N-A-T-O-N. Oh, Nathan. Yeah. Nathan was happy with that, obviously. Uh, well, he found it hard going at first, and you know, he was, as you said, confused. Mm. But you know, he'd been through a rough time. But he seems quite happy with that now. Mm -hmm. And does he see his mum? Yeah, he sees his mum. How often? At the moment, fairly regularly, about uh, as much as he wants to, because she's living in Armadale. When, when this all happened, we were in different towns and different mm. countries, actually. Yeah, really? <laughs> Where were you? I was in Australia, he was in, and she was in New Zealand. He went to visit her for a holiday and then he didn't come back, so mm. I went over to mm. sort, the, sort it all out. Mm. But now she's back in Australia and living mm. in Armadale, so he just comes and goes mm -hmm. between the two of us. Right. And at the moment he spends about half a week with mm -hmm. both of us. Have you met anyone else? No. no. Do you intend to? Or you, yeah, yes you I do. do. I just haven't met the right person. So now you're a little bruised and cautious. Yeah, cautious. Yeah. Not bruised anymore, but cautious yeah. about my own capabilities of sustaining mm -hmm. a healthy relationship. Yeah. Have you met someone, or have you met someone in the last uh, little while that you thought maybe it's worth yeah, exploring? Yeah, yeah. I've had a few little sort of false starts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? You uh, did you? Would you abandon it? Or yeah, I did actually. I abandoned two or three of them. Mm -hmm. I just thought it wasn't worth it. Mm -hmm. I could see the same old patterns repeating themselves. That's dangerous. <laughs> well, it's good that you've learned something. <laughs> so at least you've got some sort of defense mechanism in place. Yeah. Yeah. And did you notice anything about these patterns? Were the, were the women involved, were they similar? Did, did you find they were yourself... Similar, they weren't necessarily similar, but there were similarities in the dynamics, mm -hmm. in the emotional dynamics yeah. that attracted me there. I'd prefer, prefer to be in a relationship and single, mm. but I'm not going to just get involved with the first mm. person that comes along. And, Would um, you consider uh, using a, an agency or a mm. singles ad? No, no, I don't think so. You wouldn't? No. <laughs> <laughs> you think it, have you thought about it ever? Yeah, I have, and I, and I thought, why am I thinking this way? Mm. And I thought it was probably a, out of a sense of neediness that people get attracted to those sorts of services mm. and that's a bad way to pursue a relationship out of neediness that was you know i could see that was part of my problem mm -hmm. feeling mm -hmm. needy more than mm. wanting a yeah. relationship yeah. Uh, that's so that's a pretty honest self-analysis you are you able to be honest about yourself to other people to you know with partners for example yeah i haven't always been but that's one of the things i've learned to, mm -hmm. you, you know if you can't be honest in a relationship, you have no relationship mm. really. The whole thing's a farce. Yeah. So you might as well not pursue it. Mm. And if you can't be honest with other people, you're not being honest with yourself. So you don't even have a relationship with yourself really.